uh, I just draw it on. And I, I just literally just take the, take the brush and I just go in here, just like painting. Like painting on your face. And then I just draw on the eyeliner. And you can be really specific with it. You can like taper it to a point. So it's like stuff like that. It's just so much easier to me than having to deal with the brush and and this dries really fast too. And I, this is from Mac. And it's called Fluid Line. And afterwards always get the excess off. So um, eyeliner definitely important and will require practice. But with something like this, you can practice on your hands, you know, until you like get the shape that you want, like it's just like painting, until you're ready to try on your own eyes. And um, it's like everybody has different preferences on how much eyeliner they want to put on or not. Um, I put on a lot for the anime character look. Um, and then on top of doing that, I put fake eyelashes on. I usually have, well, I used to do a lot of like top and bottom. But after a while, that is like really annoying. So since I go to so many conventions these days, I do just the top. Um, and eyelashes are plenty. You can buy them anywhere, you know, for four dollars maximum. And uh, they're just they what they do is they they will instantly make your eyes look bigger and make people be able to see your features from even across the room. Um, yes. Have you heard about the single ones on? Are you yes. How to make parts? Is it harder to do? To it is harder better? to do, and I don't understand why some people would do that unless you want really like the specific parted look. But to but do it, it doesn't every have the day, line, right? That's why people do it, or is it more natural? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't have the line, but the 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 ends of it, it's still like there's still like a little blob yeah. of black. So it's very like you have to cover it up with a line anyway. You have to cover it with with eyeliner, otherwise they can tell that it's fake. Yeah. So I I just think it's too much trouble and like if you don't want to do the whole strip of um eye eyelashes, you can just cut it in half. You know, just use the ends just for like the very uh, outer corner of your eyes. Like a lot of people do that. I've done that with characters where I want to look. Very natural, but still like when you, when you turn to the side, you kind of have the really flirty and sweet, you know, look of your eyelashes. So definitely, don't be afraid of butchering your eyelashes and trying it out in different ways. Like some people, if they put it to the point and it ends up poking them in the eye, you have to cut it down anyway. You know, it's like you're not supposed to just take it and stick it on. You have to measure, like not measure, but like figure out if it's too long or, you know. And uh, eyelash glue, also very easy to get. And um, just when it comes to putting eyelashes on, it's just again practice, practice. You can use eyelashes more than once. Um, I use mine maybe three times, like four if they're in a really good condition. And I don't know, some days they're like after you wear them, you can kind of take the excess glue off and it's fine. But some days it kind of sticks on it. And like it doesn't look that pretty anymore next time. So you can use like the tip of a um, you can use the tip of a, uh, just like an eyeliner pencil to help hold it in place. Like when you put it on, like hold it in place with your your finger and then tap it with the eyeliner pencil. That's gonna match, you know, your eyeliner anyway. So that's like a little trick that um, I've used before. Let's see. What else? Oh yes, I can show like fun little things that I've done. Like here, I mixed. Uh, you can very, you can visually see I mixed. I think what it looks like two colors. I think it was three together. Where it started off blue, um, bluish greenish, and then went into like this yellow gold. And uh, stuff like that you can definitely play with. You know, makeup is there for fun. There's no certain rule. It's not like, you know, you have to take certain steps or it's going to not going to look good. Uh, I personally just really enjoy blending. Whatever I do, I blend it. I don't just um, put on the color and go. It's like it's all about really making it look very flawless and uh, fluid. So I enjoy doing stuff like that. Oh, and the lipstick. This is just a uh, Electric blue um, eyeshadow mixed with clear, just the uh, lip gloss, and I use a brush.
to apply it. I just, you just mix it together and then put it on. And I do suggest for, for your lips, you can get a lip primer, kind of like the foundation primer, but for your lips. But you can probably just use the same primer on your lips. And putting concealer on your lips will also help the color stay on longer. You know, so like you make your whole face look, you know, flesh toned, but then you go back and add in where, you know, the lips are. And then you can shape your lips too. So you can like do really big ones, or you can do like really small, dainty lips, like for geisha. So that's really fun. That's my morning makeup. I did a lot of rhinestones and just did the same crazy blue lipstick. So does anybody have any questions so far about eyes and foundation? How do you determine what would be a color scheme uh, for a particular character if you're trying to match it like to the exactness of the colors? What do you, what do you use to figure out the colors? Uh, I usually pick something on the costume and just like try to match that because you, you can't go wrong with matching something that is on the rest of the you know. Uh, it's like, yes, you could, you know, do a red costume, but have your eyeshadow be all blue, but you really will depend on the shades to see if they match in the overall presentation. But, you know, if you do a red costume, but you went with something like pink, you know, that's like sort of in the same term, or something like gold, warm tones, you know, if you do like warm tones and cool tones. Um, but, you know, I just kind of go with how I feel that day, too, like how I want to look, there are certain colors that I choose when I uh, feel really, like when I'm tired, I usually put on turquoise eyeshadow. I don't know why. Just turquoise and yellow, because that makes me feel upbeat. <laughs> and I look brighter. <laughs> like, I look fresher that way. But, uh, yeah, on other days, like if I, I'll do the really dark, like if we go out, then I do the dark black, but mixed with silver, you know, to really like make your eyes pop. Metallics are fun. I like metallics. Glitter not so much anymore, but like anything that shimmers has metallic to it, stuff like that. Especially for the winter, you can't go wrong because like everything is so bleak and dreary in the winter. So if you have some like some little bit of shimmer on your face, it makes you look fresher. Any other questions so far about um, how to do your eyes, specific characters that you might want to do, or, you know. How would you do something if it required straight lines across your eyes? So how do you make it so that when your face moves with your eye that it doesn't have to, that it will stay more straight? Uh, something like an artificial scar? Yeah. Is it a scar? Uh, yeah, let's go with the scar, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, you can actually get um, this, you can get this material thing is, I forgot what the name of it is, but um, you can get this like gel thing that you put on and it wrinkles your face, it sucks your face and it will actually make a visible scar. Yeah. So like look for scar, makeup, you know, I don't, I don't even know, like how would you suggest looking for it, but I see my friends do it, you know, I thought it was really cool. I'm sure if I Google it, I can find it, but I, just, I forget the name of it. But that's the best way to do a scar. Like, okay. the days of having to draw on a scar are over. <laughs> well, that's good. That's going to save you in next year's con. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just look I'd look up for it or go into, like, a um, costume shop. Go up to their makeup counter and ask them, like, you okay. know, trying to look for this gel that will, like, it will, like, literally, it will um, constrict your skin around it. And it will, like, actually go in and look like a dried scar. Like but removable, so it wouldn't be. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah I'll wash it off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sure. I mean, I've always thought about you know actually you know actually having one, mm -hmm. but I don't want to really go that far. That would just be very, very bad and masochistic of me. Oh my God! Don't, don't do that. There are so <laughs> many ways to fake things. So many ways. But who, do, but who doesn't right. want a pizza cutter who has a scar across his eye? Can we talk a little bit about makeup brands? Because I think a lot of people are kind of confused about what to use because there's so much out there. And, you know, I'll just tell you from my experiences what I really like. Um, 